speaking of, like, you know, the fissures that are happening on the right, as Fox News trying to tack back to the sanity level, you know, we're going to push Sean Hannity to 10 p.m. We're going to put Gretchen Carl, well, she's got her own show. <laughs> but maybe if we bring Elizabeth Hassel back onto the Fox and Friends, nobody will notice that they're, uh, that they're, moron <laughs> that they're morons. Here is a moment from Fox and Friends Weekend Edition, otherwise known as the last vestige, the last redoubt, the Alamo for Tucker Carlson. <laughs> <laughs> the dude has been just sort of marginalized and marginalized and marginalized. So here they have Chris Wallace on. Now, Chris Wallace has to pretend he's a real journalist on an outfit that is not involved in real journalism. Here is an awkward moment where those two worlds collide Play this clip. Well, a showdown is set as the House passes a budget that defunds Obamacare, but President Obama refuses to negotiate. Will the two make a deal to avert a shutdown? Here to weigh in is Chris Wallace, host of Fox News Sunday. Chris, the president, as you know, spoke last night to the Congressional Black Caucus about Obamacare, and here's part of what he said. Let me say, as clearly as I can, it is not going to happen. We have come too far. We've overcome far darker threats than those. We will not negotiate. We've overcome far darker threats than those, he tells the Congressional Black Caucus. That is a dog whistle. That is the race card being played. Can you see any other explanation for it? Oh, I don't know. Uh, I, I think to get to the real point, though, uh, they are not going to compromise Wait, on what this. Do you mean, well, on. Isn't it news if the president says the Congressional Black Caucus, we have overcome far bigger threats? I mean, isn't that it's taking the rhetoric to a new place, is it not? <laughs> I don't know, Tucker. Do, do you want me to talk about uh, the, the health care? Yeah, Obama if you care would. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> okay. Uh, what I was going to say is that uh, I don't think that uh, there is going to be a compromise on this, and I don't think uh, that Republicans think there's going to be a compromise on this. And in fact, we're going to be talking to Ted Cruz at the top of the hour, <laughs> okay. and I suspect that uh, a lot of Republicans, well, I know this, are upset with Cruz because they feel that he has pushed them. All right, there you go. Hey, what happened? There you go. Tucker Carlson, this is, this is, this is taking rhetoric to a new place. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know, Tucker. <laughs> don't you have some type of uh, daily call? Don't you have to chase down some type of Menendez scandal or something like that? Don't you have guns to give away? Oh, my God. <laughs> that was just... Chris Wallace don't is, you have a nap to take? Chris Wallace was like, don't, I just have these very few particles of dignity left which is actually please. kind of important for the fox right. news brands can right. we like right should at least wait till i'm off segment to do this nonsense? exactly exactly can't you just bring jerome corsi on after me or something 